They're my favorite. They are my favorite. Everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Katrina and I make motherhood and lifestyle videos. And now we are finally able to release our bedroom makeover. It's been a while in the making. The initial painting only took one day, but there were items that we wanted that we had a hard time finding. And then when we did find them, they were out of stock or discontinued. One of them being the curtains. So we ended up actually going with curtains from Lithuania that are linen and they were a little more on the pricey side, unfortunately, but they actually just like make the whole room. They are my favorite. They are my favorite. Definitely worth the wait. We have vlogged most of the bedroom makeover, so without any more waiting, let's cut to that. Today's the day. I've already started kind of taking down some things. This is our, this is our, oh my gosh, it's early in the morning. It's our paint splotch, whatever. What is it called? Our paint testing spot. There we go. Okay. Just gotta take down these shelves here. I've already started. And then. The curtains. Does anybody else have this happen where it's like Take it off and the paint comes off behind it. Is that because the people before us? Didn't let the paint dry before they put it back on like what the heck? Nick has sanded the wall down. Oof. Use. Let me see here. This kind of sandpaper, he says it works really, really good. Let's the paint bits go in between. So earlier in the video, you saw that we did a color test on the wall, and it turns out that color is the one we want, so we are painting that today, hopefully. We do have to prime this wall here because of the black stripes on it, but the rest of the room we're just going to paint because the paint that we have has a paint with a primer in it. The lady recommended that we just use that one for the rest of the room, but use a primer because of the black. We have to mud now, and then we have to tape, and then we can start getting painted. <laughs> Let me tell you, doing all of this with a four-month-old is fun, because there's a lot of breaks. one wall 
is primed, thanks to mostly Nick, because Elise is being a little fussy and so I had to deal with her for a little while. Um, I don't think we're going to get the whole video done today. I think we're going to have to do some tomorrow too. <laughs> there is a lot of mistakes that the last people made that we are now having to fix. They must not have sanded the walls before they painted and the paint is not like their paint is peeling off when we're like taking the light switch covers off and that sort of thing. So we've had to do patchwork and yeah. Look at all that patchwork. They put they put the curtain rods into the corner things and we had to move it over and then patch it up. Not ideal. And look at this. Look at this. This is the wall that our bed goes up against, so that's priority number one.
right now, our bedroom is my favorite room of our entire house. And now I want to paint the rest of our house. Even though that's going to be a lot of work. I will be linking everything down below. Thank you for your patience with this video. It's been a bit of a, a longer bedroom makeover than I was expecting. The two money plants that we have are from uh, Potter's like a while ago. I, we just had them since probably spring last year. Yeah, I think it was spring last year. So repurposed them, put them in our bedroom, which they do really well because they are good in low light. Also our snake plant is low light and it works perfectly in our bedroom. It was in Elisa's room but now she is kind of moving around and it was next to her crib and that was the best spot for it. It was just too pokey for my liking. So it is in our bedroom now. The piece above our bed that has the piece of driftwood and the dried eucalyptus sleeves and some dried flowers, I believe they're lavender, was done by a lady I found on Facebook Marketplace who is local-ish to me. I will link the marketplace page of hers down below. The two dirty laundry stacks are from Ikea. If you don't know what those are, that's this thing right here. So we were trying to figure out what to do about the curtain rod because we didn't want like one of those metal ones as well as we had a space limitation because there is a vent or something above our bed and it is really close to the window so you can't have like those extra knobs on the end of the curtain rod long story short anyways uh we found a piece of dowel i do not know the wood my husband knows and i cannot remember and then we went to michael's and just bought a thing of leather that we liked and we went to home depot and we bought some brass screws that we liked and then we just hung it up with the leather and the dowel and it looks Pinteresty. The wooden pegs on the wall are from Amazon and I love how simple they look and they add to the room without looking cluttered. We needed something for that wall because it was just too blank. The paint color that we decided to go with is Swiss Coffee from Bear and we bought that from Home Depot. If you like this video, please leave a like and a subscribe. I would greatly appreciate that. Keep an eye out for those diaper videos. I am super excited about my diaper series. So I will see you in those ones or whichever one comes next. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye. <gasps>